Ooh, that was refreshing. You're welcome to the One Kufu Platter Kitchen. Today, I'm going to be making an interesting drink that has come to be a signature drink for Nigeria. How this came about, I don't know, but uh, you know, I, I remember working in a hotel on Lagos Island then in the early 80s, and this used to be their signature drink. And here I'm talking about Chapman. Of course, there's so many colors of Chapman ranging from dark red to orangey. Some you have alcohols, you know, a tinge of alcohol, some you don't. Um, but today's recipe is going to be one that guarantees that every sip you take is going to be the same flavor intensity to the end because there are some tricks to making a uh, Chapman. Um, talking about Nigerian drinks, if we move out of the cities, you start to see different, different types of drinks. I'll talk about this a little bit later. But first, do subscribe to my channel because you know that you're guaranteed to find interesting recipes that you can try out at home. Simple, even where they are complicated, you know I will take you through the processes just so that you have good results. And then if you're liking this channel, liking this video click that like button i'll appreciate that so let's get on to making a chapman and as i go through you'll see the secret of guaranteeing that you know taste even to the last drop so we start so we'll start with cutting up our fruits usually for chapman you have oranges, um, you can go with lemon, this is my choice, and cucumber. You can use the regular cucumber, but I happen to have found some Lebanese cucumber in the store where I went to shop, and that's why I bought this. And besides, I think it looks quite pretty in the glass. So we'll first cut up our fruits, and then we'll go on to prepare the base, which is actually the secret for this recipe. So let's start with the orange. I think that will do. I'll also put in some of the um, local orange because I think this has actually quite some interesting flavor. And that will do. And then we go on to slicing the cucumber as well. I mean, you can actually add as much fruit as you like. I mean, but again, you want to leave some space for the drink in that glass when you finally get um, the drink in the glass. So we'll cut a little bit more and then we'll cut some lemon as well. Okay, I'll, like I said, the lemon is my choice. I mean, I just want a variety of color in my glass of uh, Chapman, so that's why I'm adding the lemon. So just, just one or two slices of lemon there. And that will be it. So let's go on to assemble the drink. But first, we want to make a pre-drink, so to speak. And I'll tell you why we need to do this. So but first, let me clear this off a bit, all the slices, because this is what we'll put in our drink. And then also the... The leftovers, of course, the leftovers I'm going to squeeze and add, you know, to some other drink. So we clear this up and then we can start combining the drink. So let's start. You can actually use any orange drink, fizzy drink that you want. Um, I'll just get like half a cup of this and add there and also some ginger ale. 
can add some ginger ale or ginger drink, whichever one you find that have actually almost equal parts and um, this as well, um, Sprite or Fanta or, or sorry, or 7up, whichever one you want. And also, I had made some Zobo drink, just plain sorrel flour in hot water, steeped. Uh, for me, Zobo in this drink is mainly for color. Um, I could just drop it, but I'll add um, one spoon. And I think the color you want is how much you go deep with the, with the Zobo. But remember, this is very acidic, so you don't want too much of it. I'll add just a little bit more. Okay, that's that color is what I want as you can see nice now if you want an alcoholic drink I know some people do some people will just stop at this point and add their fruits but you know I want a tinge of alcohol in it so you can go with any bitters that you want um, for me I'll just go with um, a bit of uh, Campari there but if you want to use some other bitters, you can go with Angostura bitters. This is what I might just add as well. But you don't have to add the two, you know, just one uh, right you would do. Just a little squeeze. For me, this is more for flavor than anything else. But go easy. The alcoholic content of bitters are pretty high. And so I stir mix everything and then put in ice trays and freeze and then I'll tell you later I can actually perceive the flavor of the Angostura bitters so I'll just put some little just to make my ice cubes which I would add to the drink so you can make this say in the morning and then when you know that you're going to have your drink uh, later on in the evening freeze it and then use or a day before actually and that's that's it you put this in the freezer and allow this to freeze I had actually made some earlier on so we'll go ahead with the drink I'll take this and freeze anyway so we're back and we'll get uh, started first with the drink in the jug um, look, you can eyeball this actually, but I just decided to do this. I'm using two cups of this. Get some more there. Two cups of the orange drink. Actually, like I said, equal parts of the drink. Ginger ale, an orange drink, and then a Sprite-like or 7-Up-like drink. Put this as well. Two cups or one and a half, whatever suits your fancy. Enough actually for your guests. The ginger ale, I'll go easy on that. Just that's my choice. Now we then add a zobo. This time around, I'll just eyeball it and see how it goes, how the color changes for me. A little deeper, I think. That, that works, that works. Because I don't actually want it to have Zobo color. I just, I want it to have Chapman color. And so we come with the bitters. I'll take um, half uh, a spoon. Like I said, you know, um, the alcoholic content is high, so be careful. If it's for adults, yes. And then I stir that as well. And here comes the fruits. I'm going to pile it with uh, fruits now. So we drop as much as we want in there orange
I'll leave some, you know, to use in the glass. I should actually have dropped it in the glass. Um, so you mix and allow the flavor of the food to seep in there. And so when you're ready to serve, this is what I do. I add some fruits to the glass. I add that. I then pour this in there. So when you pour, you leave some space. You know, don't pour to the end. And then I come with, remember the frozen drink? I then add. That is the ice I add to this drink. And so your drink is not watered down at all. And you enjoy it um, to the end. You know, and then you continue to stress the fruit in there as much as possible. Let me serve another glass um, because my camera guy is eyeing this drink and I know he would want some as well. So we'll share the drink with him. So we take out some fruits, the oranges, I should actually have put that here, and then pour in the drink. Not too full, just so that um, you have space for the eyes. Put that in there. And then we add some ice cubes already of the Chapman drink. And so your Chapman remains with its original taste to the end. Cheers. So that's um, our Chapman for you. You know, I talked about other Nigerian drinks. Of course, we have palm wine, and from palm wine, you get um, ogogoro, which I found recently a lot of people have started bottling, which is, um, you know, taking our local drinks in the right direction. There's a drink uh, made from Guinea corn, you know, from Kogi State I tried recently, and it's called Oti Omu, something like that. My goodness, such a fantastic drink. Um, I'll, I think I have to visit um, Kogi State to learn how to brew that drink. Very, very nice. I mean, it's just like drinking wine, but with a slight uh, smoky flavor. So back to Chapman, uh, before my ice melts and fills the glass too much, I have some small chops or snacks. Sometimes the difference between snacks and small chops, we don't even know. So some meat pie, with your Chapman or with any other side to it. It's such a fantastic drink. Mm. That will make your day. So subscribe to my channel just so you get a lot of these interesting recipes that I'll be bringing your way. Like I said for Chapman, if you don't want the alcohol content, stay away from the bitters and have your Chapman with the fizzy drinks and um, some Zobo in it. And enjoy with that snack next time. Until I come your way again, it's bye for now. Ooh.